Hey there, this is the Nacho Dad. I wanted to pull up another game save that I have from a previous game. And I am in the midst of one of these four carrier battles. I'm pretty far along in the battle in that I am on day 19, about 35,000 in the bank. And I have sent out a number of different mantas that all have different permanents. You will see that I have found my AI carrier right in front of me at 329 and I am actually facing almost directly 329 and I am going to take out this carrier using all of these mantas. So the first mantas that I um, send out are air to air just in case I get an air attack which sometimes if you get too close you will actually get an air attack. They'll send six or more different aircraft at you at about the same time essentially doing what I'm going to do but in a much faster pace. I will send all these mantas out to uh, to different points, but I can then take care of them or take control of them and launch this attack. So we'll start. What I'm going to do is get high and fast when the carrier launches its anti-aircraft missile, which it will I'll go about 100 and, or, uh, 90 degrees to that missile so I can shake it and then I will go in with all my rockets blazing to start taking out the carrier's abilities. I want to take out its Sea Whiz, I want to take out its anti-aircraft missiles, and most importantly its torpedoes. Still have not seen it launch. There's the uh, anti-air launch. You'll see it coming towards me. I'll speed up. I'm going to roll over and my countermeasures will launch and I will just start launching my rockets at this guy making sure to pull up at the right time and do some crazy maneuvers to get away from the sea whiz now I'll roll over I used seven of my rockets there this time I'll be able to hit more Up, and I will actually, since I'm not seeing a lot of bullets come my way, this guy is pretty clear to come home on his own. Oh, got an AA off. So anytime I see a missile launched, I will try to go low and fast to shake it. have him come home. This next one. We'll go in again. All the rockets launching at the same time. Now he was attacking a an island and so he has most of his air assets up, not in anti-aircraft mode, but ground attack mode, and so that's why he can't do much to me with those air assets. And this 
point, I've probably hit all of his Sea Whiz and his anti-air missiles. I'm going to come back and do exactly the same thing again. Go from bow to stern. And then turn this one home as well. Now I'm going to go in with the bombs. These are heavy bombs. Now if you're playing with friends, you can do this all at about the same time. down to about half health. The most important thing is that it really has no defenses at this point. And launch my bombs, you'll see that it's down to a fraction of its old self. I'll let it go back to where it was going, and I'll pick my next one. Exactly what I'm doing right now is the reason that the most important things for me to get when I am in my first couple of islands are those rockets that are so powerful and these heavy bombs. I think that's going to be it. And there's the end. Just took out. His carrier, my carrier, already has Manta's landing. That's the easiest way I have found to take out a carrier. Have a great week. Like and subscribe and I'll have more tips and tricks in the future.